Hello guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Today's video, we are going to be talking about tiny micro habits that you can be doing to increase your feminine energy. Now, I've been, I have, I'm not the one that used to always be in my feminine energy, especially when I was younger. I was very much in my masculine. And there's things that I have learned that increases your feminine energy that I want to share with you guys because I really do see a difference with you know interacting with myself and interactions from others so if y'all want to know more about that let's continue so what is feminine energy when I think of feminine feminine energy I think of flowy creative in tune in alignment nurturing they are a creator, they're inspirational, they make the room feel lighter, you know, they give light to rooms that they're in. They're very present, they're intuitive, faithful. They do have empathy and power with their emotions, okay? So when you hear feminine energy, what do you hear? Because for me, that's what I hear. I feel a woman that is powerful in her own emotions and within her own self and knows how to maneuver with her own self in within rooms and people. Number one, be aware of how you are outside. Be aware of how you appear outside. Be aware of how you act outside. When you walk out your crib, when you walk out your home, how are you? Are you mean when you get out your home? When you walk out your home? Are you sad when you walk out your home? Do you seem like you know you appear sadness or upsetness or anything like that of that nature? Or do you appear happy or you know, light in me? Like, dude, what type of side do you present yourself as when you walk out that door? So, also is a pointer that you can pay attention to is how you walk. How you walk can tell you everything about a person, how they feel about themselves. So, just like how you can tell when somebody walks down past you confidently, you be like, oh, they confident in themselves. You know, like, oh, okay, they know they the shit, like, you know. But then you see somebody that's like, you know, a little scared to pass by and walk by. They walk all weird and awkward because, you know, they're not confident in themselves. They don't know how to walk because they're very anxious. They're an anxious person. They're thinking about every single move because other people's around them. And then it just seems like they're not confident to even move in their own being and being around others when they walk outside at their house. Some people walk, when they walk, they walk stiff with their hips and stuff like that. So instead of that, it produces like a more masculine or dominant type of appearance. So for on the feminine side, you wanna walk more softly. You wanna flow with your hips when you walk. Cause when you walk off stuff and stuff like that, it shows and makes other people feel like they don't wanna walk up to you and you're not approachable. You don't wanna be approached. Now with, you know, moving in a more flowy state when you walk and how you maneuver outside of your home you can become you can look and become more soft and look approachable you don't look mean you know when people see this they treat you with how they perceive you on the first impression of how they see you like the first time they see you that is an impression on how they're going to respect you or talk to you or any type of way it is by interacting with you by the way you look and appear outside of your home. For example, let's say, you know you know how you see people looking real nice and stuff like that and workers or not even workers, just other people that interact with them, they seem more, you know, smiley, seem more bubbly or seem more lighter. Not in like, you know, they don't really give off like, mm, don't mess with me type junk. They don't really give off, they give like, oh, very approachable and they become very social with that person that's dressing up nice and looks put together and they take them seriously as well as being nice to them now when you out here walking a mess what you think what would you think if you saw somebody out here walking a mess would you take them seriously would you even want to be or continue to be nice to them no me i'm just automatically you know i'm just gonna be nice regardless of how you look and stuff like that but some people actually consider that like how you look is how i'm going to treat you so if you don't look like you're put together you don't look like you have your ish together you don't look like you even take your own self seriously they will do the same number two is dressing up you can dress up to the maximum effort you can dress up to the minimum effort but when you're dressing up to the minimum effort it's still an effort 
that you still look put together effortlessly you dig so you always have that set of jewelry that you always wear that always makes you look put together you always got the earrings the necklace the ring the bracelet purse like you always have that go-to you know set of jewelry and purse and stuff like that with all your outfits no matter what it always matches and it always looks put together so as well as this will help you manage when it comes to like you're being in a rush you already have a default outfit when it comes to st styling with your jewelry and stuff like that so it'll help you get ready even way more faster and you'll be even way more prepared compared to you know if you didn't if you did not have these things set in place and did not figure out which one would be your default you know set of jewelry your default person stuff like that you'd be like oh my gosh i don't know which one to pick through so I'll make your whole getting ready time uh longer and for the girls that have you know them days where they don't want to put on the makeup they don't want to you know updo their hair to the maximum and stuff like that those are great those type of moments for those days that you don't feel like putting yourself together in that type of manner up done and dolled up type of manner and it's a perfectly fine if you even get dolled up every single time you go out that is good that is great i'm happy for you and that is good that means you know you really put in the effort and stuff like that every single time you go out you step in but you can also step even though if you don't do that too by having those things set in place for those moments number three is asking for help now i used to be the guy that did not ask for help because i feel like i can do this by myself why well, i'm gonna ask you and i know dang well why i can do this by myself now y'all let them do things for us okay no matter who it is boy girl whoever let them assist you what is wrong with assisting what is wrong with somebody assisting you simply with feminine energy it is having things in place or having things happen to you to make your life easier so if somebody wants to carry that case of water for you let them you know let them do that if somebody wants to grab something because it's too high on the shelf let them don't let don't don't be out here over here like me when i used to do i used to climb up the shelves just to get something at the top of the dang on shelf because i didn't ask for help or simply when it comes to somebody asking you or work at the store whatever it is they're asking you oh do you need help with anything instead of you be like no nah, i don't need help i'm gonna figure it out on my own you can just be like oh yes do you know where so-and-so is and which i am making your shopping trip shorter and you know making it easier for you so asking for help is not a bad thing it's very much in your feminine because feminine energy does not decline help they gonna want all the help they can get if necessary okay because that's what they attract they attract things that make things easier for them because in any type of state they go through any type of situation and within those situations is always getting assisted by themselves by what they attract and stuff like that and other things if you don't ask for help and stuff like that it could block your blessings and it could block you from increasing your feminine energy which is something that you want to do asking for help would make things easier for you and would not have you over here stressed trying to figure things out for yourself just because you know you can doesn't mean you have to prove to everybody or you have to prove to yourself every single time there is a situation where you could do it by yourself or so have somebody else do it for you just have the other person do it for you especially if they want to and are willing to do not deny that help because that will block you okay that will block you and that person for even wanting to do something because if you are telling them no 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 so many times and they finally give you and then you finally give them a yes for what they're asking to help you on they're like never mind because you know it won't be as you know as genuine and stuff like like they will make it feel like okay i'm just doing this just because she finally said yes it's like you know oh i want to do it like very excited and looking forward to helping you when it comes to feminine energy you come with a nice soft approach you don't come like hey i want you to help me with this let's go like no you'd be like hey i figured that you'd be the perfect person to ask can you put this up for me can you build this shelf for me because i know you know you be doing your thing and i feel like 
like you'll just take very care of how you put it up and setting up everything and I trust you think about oh my gosh you really thought of me to be the perfect person to ask to do this for you of course I want to do it why not you know because you pushed out that good thought about them so they're gonna be like they're gonna be even more um ready to like prove you like yeah you are right I'm this type of person I'm this kind you know helpful very person like so when you learn how to navigate in those type of ways things will come easier for you and things will happen in a way smoother transition so number what three I don't remember what number went on but do small pleasurable things now what do I mean by this do anything that makes you happy anything that puts a smile on your face anything that makes you laugh anything that puts you in a mind of state of clarity anything that makes you stress free anything that does not block your creativity okay so when it comes to femininity your feminine energy is all about that creativity right and creating something giving life to something giving life to an, a, an idea now this is what i mean and some things don't even have to be 100 percent productive it's, it's just a thing you know how people like to play games or a kid likes to play games because it makes them be happy they like the way it feel, makes them feel and if they like how it clears their minds onto onto something that gives them a better feel a good feeling than a negative feeling of stressed out and stuff like that so that i rather go play with my toys than feel stressed out because me being happy and playing with my toys will not disconnect me from my creativity and my happy side and you know me keeping me away from blockages and stuff like that so they rather go over there than the other way same thing for you 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 are a creator so your mind needs to be flowing without stress or without you know any blockage without any resistance so when you do these happy things that you do it's like when you give yourself self-care days you was productive the whole week you can't be productive the whole month. You need days where you just take down and take a rest so you can continue being productive or so you can continue being in a flow state on where you don't feel stagnant. That's why you have these things that make you feel good and you continue to do them. You don't shut them out your life completely because you're trying to handle business. No, you can do both in moderation. Number five. Um, this is going to be a part two for this video because I have what like... Four more points and my camera finna die every single time but it's gonna be a part two so have a second brain now what is the second brain y'all a second brain is literally like you know how you have your mind which is the creative part your second brain is where you store everything right because storing everything in our brain takes up space for us to even be creators by having that second brain where it just stores all the information about oh writing down notes that is your second brain having that journal having that planner is your second brain so you can have maximum efficiency when it comes to this mind working right here when it comes to creating anything and letting your mind work and do the magic but it can't do that if it's fogged up and all that because it's trying to store everything in one space like you need to give room for you to be able to even be in that creative space to even do the things that you want to do in effort. If you're just storing, storing, storing in your brain, you're gonna have brain fogs because that's all you're doing. Your mind is not meant to store, your mind is meant to create. That's why we have planners, journals, notes, notebooks to help us store these things so it doesn't come in conflict with our minds when it comes to being in a flowy state. Let the second brain store stuff and let your brain create stuff, okay? And that's how you're going to get that, y'all. But I hope you guys love today's video. I love today's video. I made another video about this, but then it deleted on my, I accidentally deleted on my camera. So I have to make it again. But say your picky, your doggy, your cat, your cousin, your auntie, your sister, your brother, whoever about me. And I'm going to see y'all. Ooh, did I say like, comment, subscribe? Like, comment, subscribe, please. Thank you. I would love y'all. And tell me what was your favorite point about today's video and what are other things that you guys know about feminine energy down in the comments because I want to know more too about things that I may not know of yet, but you guys know and for others too. I'm going to see y'all in the next time. Bye.